with most of the things when we think about health-wise on stress. We all talk about that stress is the number one cause of most things out here, but when we treat them, are we treating the stress or are we treating the symptom? We start to treat the symptom right there with the symptoms just an effect of what's going on. It's actually a perfect effect usually of what's going on in that body and we'll explain that here. This, if, <clears throat> this actually goes through that. If you can get kind of one thing, this is one of the main things kind of here, you'll understand a lot of disease processes of why they happen. This is actually done by a scientist that actually did more with like autism and stuff like that. But they started to figure out because before, especially back in the 80s, it was talked about that it's mostly genetics. Until Watson and Crook started to do the genome project and said, if it was just genetics, then we're missing a whole ton of genes out there. Because they were thinking there was going to be a different gene for every different disease and symptom out there. So they started to figure out why, and they started to find out we do have the genetic portion of it, but genes can get turned on and off by our environment and the stressors coming at us. So once those environmental stressors come into the system, then once it hits the genetics, then it starts to interact within that system, whether it's the nervous system, GI system, immune system, a detox system, and then that creates a perfect response. But that perfect response isn't always what we think a perfect response is but we don't think about the body isn't technically meant to be healthy or sick, it's meant to survive. So it's going, what do I need to do to survive? 